Hello everyone, today I'm going to bring to you a very hotly requested review and comparison. I'm going to be comparing my GHD flat iron with the Seydoux Revolution. The Seydoux is heavier than the GHD. It is slightly wider. The GHD feels much more lightweight and the rounded edges make it easier to grasp. The Seydoux, on the other hand, is wider, so if you're not very adept at holding hair styling tools, the Seydoux might be more comfortable for you. I really love the styling of the GHD. I think it's really sleek. It has a traditional swivel cord. It has the GHD logo, which is backward, <laughs> printed on the side. And I think it's a very easy to use iron. Plus, the edges right here don't get too hot while you're flat ironing your hair. The GHD comes with not only a box, but two kinds of protectant. So if you like to travel light, you can carry it in this singular pouch. If it's the iron and the entire cord, length of the cord, in just this little pouch. And it has a Velcro bottom because the Velcro bottom attaches to this raffia pouch here, and it, which looks like this, and you wrap it up and you have these two magnetic closures here at the bottom. Now I love this raffia bag. I think it's super cute and it's easy to find in my luggage because it's so bright. So when I open it up, it's just a pad that I can set on the counter so that my iron doesn't burn through anything, which is really nice. It's a heat mat and a pouch in one. So I also have a little zippered pouch here where I can fit any mirror or accessories that I need. And this GHD also comes with a travel sized mirror. It even has its own pouch and it looks like this. It's a rather large dual sided mirror. So let's see, it's about the size, it's about the length of half of my face and it's really handy to use when you're looking at the back of your head in the mirror. So I really feel that the extra funds are worth it when it comes to this particular iron. And the iron that I own, this pink and, butter, pink and white butterfly pattern, is part of the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's a, it's a limited edition item, so if you guys can still find this. And I believe Volocus.com still has them available, which is where I purchased mine. So if you guys are interested in this iron and supporting the charity, go check this iron out. I really do not regret buying this. Now the Seydoux only comes in a standard box. It ha it's actually a pretty nice box, and I think that a lot of you guys would like to save it and carry it around with you because it's very compact. I feel that this one is best for straightening my hair. I do not like to curl my hair with this iron. I feel that it doesn't look as good, plus the plates at the top get really hot, so even though it, there are grooves for you to hold it here, I really feel as though when I'm straightening my hair, it is a bit too hot to touch. So when I turn this iron on, the light is red. And because it's ready, since I had it on before, it just turned like a purple blue. And that's how you know the iron is ready for you to use. So I'm going to straighten this side of my hair with the Seydoux and this side of my hair with the GHD. Now the Seydoux, when I first got it, I was really impressed at how well it straightened my hair. I really didn't think that it was going to be personally comparable to the GHD. This iron straightens my hair just as well as the KQC, which previously to my ownership of these two irons had been my favorite. The KQC is an excellent iron and it costs the same as the Seydoux, but the Seydoux is really good and the KQC is only available on certain websites. The Seydoux is available everywhere since it is a larger retailer than the KQC. I do like the KQC a lot, but it is slightly heavier than the Seydoux, so if you have extremely long hair like me, the iron can get a bit heavy once you flatten out the rest of your hair. I do feel, however, that the KQC and the Seydoux are very comparable, and because the price is so similar, it really just depends on what you're looking for in an iron. This is my first time testing out a Seydoux uh, heat styling product, and I have to say I'm quite impressed. If I had to purchase these as gifts for friends, I would definitely 
think about purchasing them a Seydoux if they wanted a solid black or a solid pink iron. And if my friends wanted a black iron with red plates, I would buy them the KQC. That's really what it comes down to. But as you can see, my hair is flattened out already and that was rather quick. I used temperature 340 and as you can see, I achieved great results even though I'm not using the highest temperature, which happens to be on this iron 450. So you don't have to scorch your hair in order to get really good results, is my point. And when I turn the iron off, now I'm going to turn on my GHD once more. As you can see, it made the sound. Once it heats up, it's going to make that sound again. So we'll just wait. There you go. It's that quick. So basically, you can wash your face, dry off your face, and then your GHD will beep. So we're going to go ahead and straighten out this side. I like to start with the front just because I, it's what I can grab first. Now there are a few cons with the GHD. It doesn't have a temperature dial. The plates are supposed to be sensitive enough to be able to determine what type of hair you have and adjust accordingly. Now, I don't know if any of you buy into this. I think that it works pretty well. I'm not sure, obviously. My hands are clearly not a very accurate temperature gauge. But if they say it works, I'm going to believe it. Another con about the GHD that some of you might consider a con, um, for me it's an obvious discrepancy in the actual packaging and the marketing, is that these plates are only ceramic. Now if you actually care about having a nano tourmaline or tourmaline technology, the Seydoux is your better bet because it says on the iron itself, nano tourmaline ionic styling iron. The GHD doesn't have that. It says professional styler with ceramic technology. It only has ceramic technology. The pros of the GHD though are clearly the packaging. Now you do pay for the packaging. That's why the GHD is significantly more expensive than any other iron because it comes with different types of ways to protect your iron during travel. And because I travel a lot, that's very important to me because I don't want my iron being destroyed back and forth on trips. Now, if you're not the person who travels a lot, you obviously don't need those kind of preventative measures. As you can see though, there's not that much of a difference in the way that my hair looks, but I have absolutely no product in my hair except what I use at night. I use the JHD fat hair lotion all over my hair when, right before I blow dry at night. But in the morning, I didn't put any products in my hair. But when I straighten my hair with the GHD, my hair feels smoother as opposed to with the Seydoux, my hair still feels slightly coarse. So that's why I don't buy into the tourmaline, ionic, uh, fancy terms for hair products because in the end, I feel that heat still damages your hair. So it really can't make that much of a difference. Honestly, that's truly how I feel. I don't think the Seydoux is a bad iron. I think it's great for the price. It really is something that if you don't want to spend an extra $70 or more on packaging for the GHD, then the Seydoux is definitely your best option. I highly recommend you guys also check out the KQC because that's also another great iron. Like I said, the Seydoux is more lighter weight and it has slightly wider plates than the KQC, so the Seydoux is definitely one that you guys should look into. Now for the GHD. I really feel as though this is truly the best iron on the market. It never snags my hair. I think I've had it snag my hair once, and that's because I straightened my hair without brushing it. This also curls hair very well. Personally, I don't like to curl hair with a straightening iron at all, but if I was in a pinch, the GHD would be my first pick. So when it comes down to it, which iron do I prefer? And I have to say, I prefer the GHD. And that's because even though I pay for the packaging and the additional tidbits that come with the iron, I think that it is truly worth it.